Yo, it's your bro Elliot, and I'm back answering questions Q&A style after taking a few weeks off. And today I got a great one to begin with, pretty basic, but very powerful. The question is, uh, Elliot, can you give me some fasting recommendations? Uh, building a long-term plan and improving over time, preparing for a multiple day fast. Well, thank you for that question. Uh, my man on Instagram, can't pronounce your name, but uh, you come to the right place. I love fasting. I believe that fasting is one of the greatest gifts given to man to shut his mouth and stop eating because it's healing in so many different ways. But let's talk about fat loss because old Uncle E was getting fat a couple weeks ago. Uh, I hopped on a scale and it was 213 pounds and that's uh, about 13 pounds heavier than I'd like to be. And so I achieved that quarantine 15, 13. And I wanted to knock it off as quickly as possible. This was about four weeks ago. I knocked it off. I used fasting. Let me give you my routine. So uh, if you've been following me for a while, you know that uh, I've used fasting to strip down my entire body over the course of six months back in uh, 2018 to 19. And I went from about 225 pounds down to like 175 pounds, damn. And I did it as an experiment in order to just see uh, what I could push myself towards. I'm kind of an extremist, I like to see what, how far I could push the envelope. And that was one of the things I was like, how skinny can I get? It wasn't even like I was trying to do it uh, in, in, a, in a practical way. I just wanted to strip down. I learned a lot of things during that time, uh, made a lot of mistakes, but also some very positive things came out, came out as a result of me uh, doing that. And uh, the most positive thing that I discovered is the power of the 72 hour fast. And so what I did back then was every Monday, I would start on Monday and then I would push my fast out as long as I possibly can into the week, break fast, continue to eat the rest of the week and then start again on Monday. And it was a cyclical process. Every Monday, I just start again. Sometimes I get to Tuesday, sometimes I get to Thursday, sometimes I get to the weekend before I begin eating anything. The longest I went was 10 days. But it was just this consistent get up every Monday and start again. Get up every Monday, start again. And, uh, and that's how I did it. Uh, I threw in a bunch of dry fasting and I, uh, and, and I went, like I said, I went as far as 10 days. That was back then. Uh, I recovered from that, gained all that weight back very quickly. <laughs> it was unsustainable, but it was enlightening. So, okay, fast forward to about four weeks ago, hopped on a scale. Was getting kind of fat and I decided you know if I'm going to drop this weight I want to do it in the most sustainable way possible uh, and I want to do it with the most speed and efficiency as possible and so I decided to go back to the old the good old start on Monday push through till Wednesday 72 hours and then repeat again uh, starting on Monday so I know you're asking me questions about how to get into fasting. So that, in my opinion, is the most powerful form of a fasting-focused lifestyle. Start on Monday, push through, stop, recover, start on Monday, push through. But you got to get there, too. See, I had done that for quite a few months, so it was kind of like I just turned, I just flipped the switch. I was like, boom, I can go from, I can do a 72-hour fast. Let me, let me first talk to you about the power of a 72-hour fast. Because there's a reason why 72 hours is the sweet spot for prolonged fasting. And then I'm going to come back full circle. I'm going to help you out, my newbie friend, my newbie fasting friend. I'm going to give you some tips on how you could build up to 72 hours and then take this and use this as a, uh, a cyclical process, a lifelong process of, uh, of keep maintaining your body composition, dropping weight if you need to. And also, uh, as you'll discover when I just describe the power of the 72 hour fast, uh, you preserve quite a bit of muscle by doing it the way I'm gonna to describe to you right now. So, number one, why 72 hour fast? Because prior to 72 hours, you are just hungry. You're just, in a way, you're, you're just not eating. You're not actually fasting. Fasting is a state, right? Not eating is just fucking not eating. Not eating is just skipping meals. Up to 72 hours, you're just skipping meals. 
Once you reach 72 hour, you, you actually step into the physiological state of fasting. Your, your hormones begin to change. That is literally fasting. Not eating is not eating. Fasting is the fasted state, physiological state. What does that mean? Number one, you know you're in a fasted state when your body switches from using glycogen, glucose, muscle, sugar, or liver sugar to ketones. You basically switch from using sugar as energy to using fat as energy. When that switch happens, right, and it takes about 72 hours for all the glycogen to be drawn out of your body and you to switch over into, uh, into ketosis. When that happens, when that switch happens, you go into ketosis and that is a trigger. That's a check mark for you to say, I'm legitimately fasting right now. I'm actually in a fasted state. That's important. You're not in a fasted state. You're in a hungry state. You're in a starving state. You're in a state where you just skip meals prior to that. You're not actually fasting until you actually get into ketosis, right? That's my opinion, but it's backed by a lot of smarter people than me's opinion. That's number one. Number two, by the time you get to 72 hours, your body goes into, it goes into uh, autophagy, right? That's the other magic fasting word. Ketosis and autophagy. Autophagy is fucking amazing because autophagy is the process by which your body begins to strip down and get rid of old, damaged, fucked up, degenerate cells. This is why we get cancer. This is why we get sick because there's an accumulation of degenerate cells in our body that never get brushed out, never get cleaned off, never get catabolized. That's literally, that's what, um, What's the word I just used? Uh, autophagy means autophagy. Some people even say aut autophagy, but I say autophagy, which basically means self-eating. The, the, the cells begin to self-eat. They, they, uh, they become catab they, uh, cannib cannibalistic in a way. They eat themselves and then they, and it's, by, it's, it's nature's way of cleansing you, cleaning you out, getting rid of shit. So you want that to happen because it will keep your skin healthy, keep your hair, teeth, nails healthy, keep your cells healthy, keep you free from chronic disease. You want autophagy, 72 hours, must do it. And the third thing about uh, 72 hours is that once you get into the 72 hour mark and your, shit, and your hormones begin to shift, your body starts producing more growth hormone as a means for helping you preserve muscle. As long as you are burning sugar for energy, your insulin is going to be up and you're going to be burning muscle. Your body, as long as insulin's up, your body, insulin is like the, uh, the hormone that scavenges, looks for shit to eat. And if there's no more sugar, but there's high insulin because you spiked it from eating, you know, a couple days ago, it'll eat up all your fucking muscle. If, you, if you're afraid of losing your muscle with regard to fasting, number one, get into ketosis. Number two, make sure that you get into that 72 hour point where your body starts producing growth hormone, muscle preservation. Your body's not stupid. Your body is not going to eat up your muscle when you don't eat because it recognizes you need your muscle so that you can eat. So that's it. Those are the, those are the three magic things that happen when you fast for 72 hours. And that's why I encourage everybody to at least, if you're going to get into prolonged fasting, go Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, break fast, late Wednesday, early, early Thursday. And then start again, and then start again. You look forward to ending the fast. Now, how do you get there? Start with basic no, uh, I like to call it nomad. A nomad means no meal per day. OMAD, OMAD is the popular one. OMAD, start with basic OMAD, dude. If you could do, let me tell you what, if you need to tiptoe into this, you need to take your time to get into this, do one meal a day. That's what OMAD stands for. One meal a day, do it for one week. I would advise you to keep it ketogenic and that way you're not you, you don't have a whole lot of sugar and your insulin is not spiked when you go into your actual fast try to do five to seven days of ketogenic type meals meaning mostly meat higher fat and protein lower carbs uh, do that for a week drink lots of water snake juice Google snake juice uh, big shout out to Cole Robinson love his YouTube channel check him out he's always got a lot of great stuff to share in terms of fasting, he's the fasting wizard. But drink snake juice, which is water with salts in it, uh, that week. And by that Monday, you'll feel like ready to go. And you do it. You shut your mouth. You stop eating. You stop chewing. You stop digesting. And your body goes into a healing mode and fat burning, which is key when you become a bubble butt like me. <laughs> Done.